What are we up to? I gotta go fish with some back buttons. Yes. Come oh, on, let's go. You gotta find the back buttons. Where they at? Where they at? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. fucking find them. Oh, no. You gotta find them. Where they at? Go. They're just little. Oh. Move the cart. Yeah. Put those bitches on now, fast, go. <laughs> no, we're gonna work even harder. See, what do you think about the homoerotic nationships in this office? Uh, uh. I can't speak or I will be canceled. Josh? You just alright? You just good? Cool. Dom, what's poppin'? Well, I'm just working on refurbished controllers. This is old and you're making it look new again. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Bringing it back from the dead, I love it. Yeah. Yo, Christian, it's early in the morning. Yeah. We're hanging out. It's just you and me in the office. What's uh what's going on, man? Uh, tell me about tell me about the complexities that are Christian. <laughs> the complexities of my job? Yeah. You know, I eat breakfast or whatever, it'll be like eight o'clock and then I drive about thirty minutes just to get here, so uh, I'm usually the first person that usually comes into work every single day. I usually turn on the lights, put on the heat, you know, just get everything ready for like the group of individuals that come into the office that need to work that day. What's your, uh, what would you say your favorite part about uh, coming into work every day is? I think, I think honestly, it's just knowing that I'm working in a, in a family uh, business. Honestly, it just is more comforting than just working at like any typical like mass uh, major company or something like that. Before this, I used to work for uh, Honeywell. What's uh, what's Honeywell for those who don't know? Uh, Honeywell is basically, if you look at your thermostat, if that shit is as Honeywell, it's basically that. But oh, they, I've seen that but, before, yeah. Yeah, but they dip their toes on a bunch of other things. I mean, uh, one of the craziest things that I learned was that they were uh, dipping their toes in aerospace. So, oh, whoa. Yeah, I know. That's kind of crazy. crazy. So you're you're not from Michigan. We're we're a Michigan-based company, but you're from New Jersey, right? Yeah, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. What do you think is the biggest difference between the East Coast and the Midwest? Honestly, it's kind of strange because when I moved up here, um, I think it's just more of an eyes of like when I was in Jersey. Uh, I think there's just a lot more culture. We have a lot more diversity of individuals. I mean, we we got it all. We got. We got the African Americans, we got the Indians, we got the, the Puerto Ricans, the Latinos, we got, uh, you know, every spectrum of the rainbow, you can find it. But the best thing that I love is the food. When I came up here in Michigan, there's absolutely nothing. I'm pissed. What, what, what are you looking for in terms of food that you can't find here in Michigan? Spanish food. Man. Spanish food, Spanish, Spanish food. food. No, no I hear you. I mean, I miss my uh, Puerto Rican cuisine. I mean, every, every time I have it, like, I think back to my family and stuff. Oh, of course, so, man. So where did you um, learn how to build over in New Jersey? Actually, I didn't learn how to build in Jersey. Believe it or not, I was just more so tinkering. I mean, I participated in like fighting game tournaments every now and then. So, I mean, I was a pad player, you know, I use a controller. And right. one of the most important aspects of playing like fighting games is to make sure that your controller and your equipment works. Right. So, you know, I usually just take apart controllers, clean them up when I need to, replace parts. Uh, I mean, there was a time that I bombed a controller because I was pissed off. Uh, don't, never slam a controller, ever. So what would you say your uh, big reason for moving to Michigan was? So, so the thing is, is that I needed a life change. Okay. The thing is, is that I've been living in Jersey for like almost all my life. And you know, I love Jersey. I mean, it's beautiful. It's nice up there, especially when you go up north or even go to PA. I mean, it's like an hour drive or even for the hell of it, you could just drive to New York for like about an hour. Uh, but the thing is, is that I just needed a, a more of a inner change for myself because the environment that I was living in wasn't really melding well for me. Right. Um, personally, uh, it was very difficult for me to actually like make strides or make, uh, you know, moves like getting an apartment or something like that. Right. I mean, in some cases, it's very expensive to live up there. I mean, for sure. Really, it is. So a buddy of mine who uh, who I come to know, I mean, he's my best friend. He lived in, uh, what you call it? He lived in Jersey. And then he decided to say, fuck it. I'm just going to move to Michigan. I, I am tired of this monotonous lifestyle, whatever the fuck. And then he just did his thing. Uh, he moved to Michigan. I still stayed in Jersey for about like a year or two. And then I was like, you know what, maybe I need a life change. And he said, hey, how would you feel about, 
you know, coming to me, you know, you could, you know, be my roomie for a period of time and then we'll go from there. Mind you, these were plans back in 2016, 2017. So at the point in which I decided, you know, I'm going to go move to Michigan. Uh, and this is kind of saddening. My father was hit by uh, an unfortunate uh, disease, which was cancer. Very sorry about that. Yeah. So at that point in time, my father progressively got worse. And then I had to take care of him as well as like my mother and my family. And my plans were put on halt. And by uh, 2019, uh, you know, God rest his soul, he passed away. And then my mother fell into depression, so I had to take care of her. Right. You know, after a while, you know, after I took care of her, you know, we reestablished our livelihood for a period of time. And uh, my, my mother started getting better, which is fantastic. You know, you know, God only knows where she would be if I wasn't there or like any of the family members or friends mm -hmm. along the way. It was very difficult. I mean, you know, my, I love my father and everybody loved him too. So after that, um, you know, when my mom started to get better and I was like, you know what, let me make a change. Let me, I think now's about time to move, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so Christian, how long into uh, living in Michigan did you uh, apply and work for Cinch? It, it just happened by happenstance, realistically. I, I stood at my buddy's place for like three months or so. And then I, I was trying to look for jobs, obviously. You know, I didn't want to be a bum or something. And then I saw this, this job through Indeed and they were asking for, uh, you know, a builder of some kind. I had some, you know, tweaking experience every now and then. So I was just like, you know what, let me just apply, see what happens. But uh, the funny thing about applying for this position was like one of the things that they asked me to do was uh, answer some bookkeeping questions. So, uh, you know, look at him, he knows, he's laughing. <laughs> because it's kind of messed up. It, that, that's, the, that's the boss man's fault, mind you. Uh, so I was just like, this ain't right. Like, how, what does bookkeeping have to do with building? So I was just like, you know what, let me drive up to the job, make an appearance and, you know, dress up or whatever, bring my resume for the hell of it, right? So when I showed up, I, I basically just introduced myself. Uh, Funny thing is, is that uh, Jake didn't expect me. He, he took me in, you know, he was like, all right, are you interested with the job? Gave him my resume. And after a short period of time, I ended up just being hired. And then I went through the process of training for about, uh, what is it, like two months or so? Yeah, two months, yeah. And, you know, he trained me, Kelsey trained me. Uh, we had somebody else that was here before, he trained me and, you know, over a period of time, I ended up getting good and, you know, now I'm built, so. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's really engaging uh, workplace and, you know, I find it very entertaining every day. I, I look forward to coming to work every day. You know, I love the workers here. Uh, I love the, uh, you know, the family atmosphere. I love this cat. Oh yeah, look at Bob. Hey Bob, how are you doing? Hey Bobby. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing like where this company goes. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's making good strides as times go by. I mean, sure, we, we have a competition here and there, but you know, competition inspires growth and uh, you know, opportunities for us to thrive in an environment such as this. The, the more we change our, uh, how, how can I say? The more we, we change our outlook of like how we run the business or something like that, the more opportunities that will come and, you know, more interest comes and, you know, more people such as yourselves that are watching this video will come and seek us out for the products that you need. Whether it be, you know, the controls that we made or maybe just for the hell of it, looking at videos such as this to support us. That's amazing. You know, thank you very much. That's beautiful, Christian. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Dominic. There's a lot of people coming tonight here to play cards. Anyone here is welcome, but I doubt anyone will show up. Said Solo made a he made a board game called Lie Detect Dare. It's truth or dare, but you're hooked up to a lie detector. But yeah, Christian, what time are you showing up to the function? Okay, you were talking about lie detector. Lie detect dare. It's a truth or dare game. 
but you hooked up to a lie detector, so it will ruin relationships. You know, the person who decided to use a lie detector for a truth or dare game is a fucking demon, bro. <laughs> Why would you do this? Kelsey is working on mouse click triggers. We're not friends. We're strictly co-workers. Get out of my face. So, let me hear the trigger. What's that well, Christian's got his own version. Significantly worse because there's no mouse click in him. So, Kelsey, what's the best thing from Texas Roadhouse? Uh, you know, personally, I get the... And you have to get the baby on the and and eat it right up. Okay. I'll keep through that. Christian, Christian, what's your favorite thing from Texas Roadhouse? Honestly, I never go out to eat, bro. I cook my own damn dinner at home, oh my God. okay? Oh. Because it's more, it's actually inexpensive to just go out, go to your local Walmart or some shit, just get a steak and just cook it yourself. It's fantastic, man. Dom, what's your favorite thing to eat in the whole world? If you could have anything. Steak. Steak? Any kind of steak? With what? What kind of sides? Steak with macaroni or something. Macaroni, sounds beautiful, thank you. Kelsey, what are we doing? Uh, you know, I just glued some back buttons in. Now I gotta hold it up against this nice fan. Oh, wonderful. Wait for it to dry. Like a rookie, I tell it look up, cause it's snowing in Tussies. Well, for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and little baby that going crazy. Weezy producer, then Weezy have made me. And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes. No money records, the army, the navy. It ran me 10,000, I threw it like Brady. Foreign is yellow, like Tracy and Katie. I trust in my they never betray me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Brand new got no Tell him I throw no stunts, please. Soon as I get him gone, please. Got M's in the bank, like yes, indeed. Cardiac glasses, I won't even peek at you. Yellow Ferrari, like Pikachu. I got him waiting and watching what he gonna do. Trying to feel